Welcome to the Elevator World News Podcast. This week's news podcast is sponsored by ElevatorBooks.com. From educational programs and books to unique gift ideas and more, the only website you need is ElevatorBooks.com. This site offers books and materials on maintenance, safety, history, legal issues, technology, and more. Start browsing today at ElevatorBooks.com. This is your daily industry news update for October 27, 2017. In today's news, Alamac's largest contract will be to supply the Sydney Harbor Bridge. Kings 3 has named a regional business development manager. Lyft Institute Solutions has signed a license agreement. And London's Riverfront gets an elegant and unusual residential tower. Alamac Group will supply the Sydney Harbor Bridge with an order valued at nearly 21 million US dollars. The new South Wales government contract is with Australia's Mantec, a subsidiary of Alamac, for a vertical access solution based on building maintenance units, or BMUs, designed and manufactured at the Mantec factory in Germany. This is the largest order ever awarded to Alamac and covers design, manufacturing, installation, and service of two large, motorized, complex gantries spanning the bridge and carrying the BMUs to enable full access to the iconic structure for maintenance purposes. The equipment will be supplied and installed progressively until the end of 2020. Kings 3 Emergency Communications has appointed Jerry Heskett, Business Development Manager for Central Florida. He has more than 25 years of sales and account management experience in the elevator industry. In his new role, Heskett will educate and train managers and building owners on emergency monitoring services, code-compliant equipment installation, emergency phone monitoring, and real-time elevator performance monitoring. He and his family are longtime residents of the Orlando area. Kings 3 observed that with Heskett's technical sales background, quote, He is able to learn quickly, tackle demanding projects, and is a valuable asset to the Kings 3 team and customers within his territory. Lyft Institute Solutions and Lyft Inspect Limited have signed a license agreement that enables Lyft Inspect to conduct statutory elevator and escalator inspections according to Lyft Institute Solutions standards and branding. Additionally, Lyft Institute Solutions acquired a minority share in Lyft Inspect. Marco Wagmeister, Managing Director of Lyft Institute Holding, commented, quote, Having set up businesses in Turkey and Singapore, we are delighted to now be able to spread our Silver Triangle inspection label as a sign of safety across Ireland, end quote. A 28-story residential tower described by World Architecture News as elegantly unusual made its debut on York Way next to Battersea Square on the London Riverfront. Its distinctive teardrop-shaped design by Patel Taylor appears to twist as it rises due to strategic positioning of its white wraparound balconies. Barrett London is the developer of Lombard Wharf, which includes 134 residences, including affordable housing on the lower four floors resident amenities, and a pair of arches linking it to the railway line. At night, balcony fronts are illuminated by LED lighting, further distinguishing it on the skyline. For more industry-related information, visit elevatorworld.com and be sure to subscribe to our podcast in iTunes or the Google Play Store. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor of the Elevator World News Podcast, just let us know by emailing advertising at elevatorworld.com.